In this movie we're going to take a look at basic part assembly and drawing management with DDM and Inventor. We'll also release the assembly and drawing that we create and then we'll take a look at making some changes to that assembly, creating a new issue and also take a quick look at bill of materials management. So I'm in Inventor at the minute and I'm going to just complete the model that I'm working on before I'm then ready to save back to DDM. So within the Inventor environment we have a ribbon for the PDM integrator and this gives us all the commands that we need to interact with DDM. These commands can also be added to the quick access tool by so you'll see here I've already added my, my save icon. So we're going to save this part and as soon as we save it we are prompted with the properties window to assign some properties to this part. First thing I'm going to do is allocate a part number using the automatic number generation and then I'm going to give it a description. Once I've completed this I can save the part back to DDM and I get confirmation that the part has been saved. So if we close this we can return to DDM either from the PDM integrator menu or from the quick access toolbar and we're now looking at the DDM user interface. I have my recent items selected and so therefore we see at the top of my recent items the part that I've just created and you'll also see that we've automatically created a preview of the part um, as we've saved it back to DDM. So what I want to go on to do now is to create an assembly. So we're going to start a new assembly. And then we want to reference parts from DDM into our assembly. So if we look at our PDM integrator menu, we have a load subpart option, which allows us to load parts from DDM into our assembly. And we're going to load this piston head as the base part in our assembly. We double click it to load and it loads into our assembly window. So next we're going to load the wrist pin that we've just created. And then we use standard inventor techniques to constrain and assemble this pin into the piston head. So with our um, piston head now assembled, we can save it back to DDM. And again we're prompted for a part number and a description. And we store that back to DDM. To complete our assembly, let's create a new drawing of the assembly. and we'll just put down some simple views. So that's our drawing complete and we're going to save it back to DDM in exactly the same way as we did with the part and the assembly. This time the drawing picks up the number from the associated assembly. We can change this if we need to but in this case I'm going to keep it the same and we store the drawing back to DDM. So now we've completed this, we can close our drawing and our assembly from a session and we'll return to DDM. And here's the drawing that we've created, here's the assembly that we created previously and here's the pin that we created at the beginning of the session. So if we select the drawing, down here we have a preview, but if we double click on the preview then it will open a PDF of the drawing which allows users with access to DDM to view the drawing. You'll see that the drawing title block has been populated for us and we also have a watermark indicating to users that this is a work in progress drawing and has not yet been released. So to complete this session we're going to release 
uh, this drawing and the assembly. So if we take the top level drawing and we use our release manager, select expand all, we can see the, the full assembly. We can see the piston head was previously released, but we can see all of the other items in the assembly. So we're going to select all of those and set them to released. And we can add a release note. In this case, released for manufacture. We click on OK and we can see that our assembly has now been released. So if we want to make a change to this assembly to create a new issue, how do we do this? Well, let's take the assembly that we've created, issue one, and we're going to load it into session. And what I want to do is to modify the wrist pin and save it back to DDM as a new part. And then we'll save the assembly as a new revision of the assembly. So let's open the pin itself. And we're going to add um, a center bore to this pin. So if we look at the properties of this, you'll remember this is a released part, so we can't make changes to it. So what we're going to do is to create a copy of it. So we're going to use Save As. If there was an associated drawing with this part, this would be picked up and copied along with the part record. In this case, there isn't. So we're just going to copy the pin as it is. And we give the pin a new number. So this is changed to 258. and we'll modify our description. And so our part has been copied back to the database. If we jump back to our assembly, you'll see our assembly is now using the new component. And what we want to do is to up issue this assembly now using the new pin. Before I do that, I'm going to retrieve the related drawing. So we have a command here that allows us to pull the related drawing of this assembly into session. And that's also updated now to show our new pin. And what we're going to do is jump back to the PDM integrator menu and use the save new issue command to up issue the assembly and assembly drawing. So we're going to take both of these items go to the next issue and we're going to populate a change reason as well. So this is change order 2013 so we might have a change order number and modified wrist pin. So we fill out, fill out our change note information and then we can complete the up issue by clicking on OK. So we get confirmation that the up issue has been completed and that the new issue is now in session. So if we have a look at the drawing title block, we can see that we have issue 2 open. And you'll also see that the revision history has been automatically updated with the change note information. If we look at the properties of this item in DDM and look at the links, then we can see that this drawing um, is related to this assembly, and this assembly is using these two items, and this 258 is our modified wrist pin. We can also see the change notes that we've added that are retained against this new record. Okay, so let's close these items from session. We'll return to DDM and you'll see the state of these items has changed now. Issue 2 is now work in progress. This is the new issue that we're, we're working on and that hasn't yet been released. But the original issue 1 of the assembly is at an under review state. So this is alerting people to the fact that there are changes taking place on this assembly and they should check with the designers before ordering more of this component. So before we complete the release of the Issue 2 assembly, let's just take a quick look at Bill of Materials Management. 
So if we select the assembly that we've created and if we right click you'll see that we have a bill of materials editor option and what this does is it shows the, the bill of materials of this assembly. This bill of materials is scanned from the inventor assembly and shown in the DDM bill of materials editor so we can see all of the components and the quantity of parts used in the assembly. Now it may be that we want to add things to the bill of materials that we're not actually modeling in the CAD environment. For example, packaging lubricants adhesives. So what I'm going to do is jump back to DDM and I'm going to use my category browser to search for some lubricants in the system. So these are non-drawn records. These haven't been modeled in the CAD environment. And we're going to take this lubricant and we're going to drag it into our bill of materials window and here's our lubricant now added to the bill of materials. It has no quantity so we need to set a quantity against this um, and it's 15 the unit of measure is milliliters and we might want to add some bill of materials notes as well so here we might want to say apply to wrist pin and um, so we can add that and our bill of materials has now been completed. So we click on OK. If we return to my recent items. We're now ready to complete this exercise by releasing the new assembly. So again we take the assembly drawing, use the release manager and we set the state to released and now the new issue of the assembly has been released and you'll see the previous issue is now at a superseded state indicating to people that there is a later issue of this assembly available. So this concludes this overview movie on part assembly and drawing management of inventor models within DDM.